The CFR option provides the mandatory technical controls for compliance with 21 CFR Part 11 regulations on access control, user level management, electronic records, electronic signatures, and audit trail. Star E enables access control to the application, user level management, electronic signatures, and audit trails. User level management is part two of a series of four how-to videos teaching you how to make best use of the Star E CFR option for data integrity. The user rights option in Star E software reduces the risk of data manipulation by restricting users to areas of the system that allow them to perform their job functions. The system administrator can grant up to 30 different rights to an unlimited number of user roles or profiles. For example, administrator, lab manager, lab technician, and so on. In this video, we show you how to create new user roles to which you can assign any number of the available access rights. For this, you need to have administrator rights. Under the Home tab in the Install window, click on User Roles. From the left box listing the available rights, select the privileges you wish to assign to the user. and move them to the Assigned Rights box using the arrow button pointing to the right. Click File, Save. In the dialog box, add the name of the role, for example, Lab Technician, and click OK. In regulated environments, each user must also be assigned a signature level corresponding to their job functions. First, you need to provide appropriate meanings to the different signature levels. In the Install window, click on Home, Meanings of Signatures. Select up to 10 levels and assign a meaning to each. For example, Level 1, Tested. Level 4, Reviewed. Level 7, Approved. And Level 10, released. Click File, Save. So far, we have created a user role and four signature levels, which can be assigned to individual users on the User Accounts page. Click Home User Accounts. The User Accounts page appears. In this example, we are creating an account for Michael Fraser. After entering the user's personal details, as shown in Part 1, Choose a role from the drop-down menu, in this case, Lab Technician. Then in the field just below, select the appropriate signature level, for instance, Tested, from the drop-down list. Click File, Save. The user role Lab Technician with the signature level Tested is now assigned to Fraser. Recommended signature levels for different roles are given in the table. Once a user has signed a record, it can only be signed again by another user and with the same signature level or higher. In other words, if Miller signs a record, it can only be signed by Widman or Jones, who have signature levels 7 or 10. Thanks to the User Rights option in Star E Software, 30 different privileges and up to 10 signature levels can be allocated as appropriate to an unlimited number of user roles. For more TA-related how-to videos, please go to www.mt.com forward slash TA videos.